Brooks Bandits, Quick Draw going one on one players in the Junior A organization. Joined here with RJ Reed. Uh, where were you born and raised, RJ? I was born in Edmonton, Alberta, but I was raised in Millet, Alberta, and that's where I spent most of my life. All right. Minor hockey, you played all there, I guess? Uh, I played in Millet until I got old enough. Bantam AA, I went to Tasquin, and then to the Duke, I played for a year, and then I came here. Okay. How many years have you been at this team for? Uh, this is my third year. Right on. Uh, what number do you wear? Number 10. And why? I don't know. I've just always been number 10. I liked Pavel Bure when I was younger, and he was kind of a... I just like the way he played. He scored lots of goals, so I guess I idolized him growing up, so number 10 was the first choice. Yeah, Pavel Bure, not a bad player. Uh, brothers, sisters, what do your parents do? Don't got any brothers or sisters. I'm a lone child. Uh, it's just me and my mom, and my mom works for Norelta Lodge in Nisku, Alberta, doing I don't know what. <laughs> All right. I don't, you don't hear a lot of the only child anymore. What was that like growing up? I think it was all right. I got spoiled pretty nicely. It worked out pretty well, I think, for me, for the most part. How many other guys do you know named RJ? I've met two in my lifetime. I don't really know anyone. Yeah. What does RJ stand for? Is that too personal? Uh, Ross John. Ross John, all right. When you're you're in trouble, does your mom call you Ross John? You know you're in trouble? Uh, when I was younger. When I, when I, once I got older, not really. Yeah. All right. Okay, uh, let's see. Any pregame superstitions or a pregame routine? Do you have anything you do at all during the game? I really don't. I don't have much for superstitions at all. I can pretty much do anything. I could eat anything. I'd go to McDonald's before a game if I really wanted to. I'm not going to do it, but <laughs> I could do it. But yeah, that's about all. I'm sure Paps would be pretty happy about that, I guess, eh? I mean, he's a McDonald's lover himself, so I mean, I don't think he'd be too mad about it. Left side of the equipment, you don't put that on first? Right side. Right side? You don't, I don't ever hear that. Right side. Why is that? I'm not too sure. It's just the way it happened, I guess. I just started doing it. <laughs> All right. Favorite actress, someone in Hollywood that uh, you kind of have a thing for? I don't know. Uh, I like Eva Longoria. Yeah. The place you take uh, the woman of your dreams on a date? Wow, I don't even know. Uh, Go to Montana's, I guess. Go a little classy Montana's. Can't hey, go wrong with that, right? Hey, why not? Use your charm, right? Exactly. Okay. Tim Hortons or Starbucks? Tim Hortons for sure. Okay. Xbox or PS3? I'm a PS3 guy, but my PS3 broke and I got an Xbox for free, so now I play Xbox. All right, not too bad. Uh, favorite game, I'm going to guess Call of Duty probably? Call of Duty, NHL. And NHL 12? Yeah. Okay. All right, the question I've asked everybody on the team, someone in this dressing room you don't want to spend a night in a hotel with? Not gonna say the same one everyone else did because I would like to go with him. Uh, you're, 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 gonna, you're gonna spare Dave Watt. Me and Dave Watt are great friends, so I would love to have a room with him, but no room. Camacles. Cam Camacles has been said a yeah. couple times, all right? A reason why you wouldn't want to spend night with Camacles. He's just one of them closet mean guys. He's not. He's not overly mean, but he's he just comes off a little shady sometimes. I don't know.